Hello everyone, so today I am going to the Arctic, which is in Stormworks. It's, it's actually really realistic because your character can die from being cold, which it kind of is right now. But in this vehicle, I don't think that I don't think I will die. This is a the Arctic Explorer thing, and uh, I'm gonna go test it out in the Arctic now. And also, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, why did that luggage? I'm gonna respawn this because th is that supposed to fall out? I don't know. Yeah, I think it's supposed to fall out. I don't know why all that luggage is falling out. Alright, let's start this thing up and turn on its heaters. Where- I think the heaters are back here. Heater. There we go. And I'll start it up. What is this? W- WASD is move and 1 is reversed, okay. Let's turn on the map. There we go. Alright, so I'm gonna start exploring. Oh! Location is just falling off everywhere. This thing is pretty... It's not, it's not that fast, but it doesn't need to be that fast. It's a Arctic exploration. It's not a race car. It does... What's its speed? 20, almost 30 miles per hour, which is... A pretty decent speed for something on tracks. Alright, now let's see how well it does in snow. It's doing beautiful in snow. This thing is doing amazing. Not getting it's not even giving me a hint of getting stuck or tipping over. So this is kind of like a exploring RV thingy. Is it? It's kind of an RV in the back. But back there, you see, I have like a stove and all that. And I can turn on the burners. But it is kind of slow. I would like to have maybe like a, a fast gear that I could put it in, but it doesn't need one, I guess. I'd rather have it not. Um, be able to be this capable instead of having a fast gear because if it's an arctic exploration thing it should be capable first then have a fast gear like a high gear or something like that I don't know really what it's doing it seems to be popping a lot of wheelies has anyone ever seen like something with tracks pop a wheelie? that does not make sense one bit and so I think its tracks are starting to struggle a little bit. Oh, okay. It's a little heavy. So I don't know how I'm supposed to get out of here. It's a little stuck. No, but it's explorer and here I'm gonna get to explore maybe these rocks over here. It says explorer and something else on the side. How much fuel does this have? Let's check. Pretty good amount of fuel. I don't think uh, there's going to be many fuel stations. Oh, there's the bridge. I need to cross that bridge to the mainland so that I can do more exploring areas. I said also check on this thing's engine. Whoa. Okay. This thing has flipped itself over and slipped back on its wheels and it I want to look at that luggage. That's a lot of luggage that dropped. Is any of it important? Can I carry any and bring it inside? This thing I cannot pick up. Oh, I can pick up this one. So this thing's rollover wrist. It's kind of high because it pops wheelies, but then when I when it happened, it put itself back on wheel. You know, what? I'm not gonna try to save all this luggage. It's just gonna fall off again. I think the creator that made this kind of built it to fall off, because, yeah, also, because it, it's completely loose, and there is, if you want it to, like, not fall off, there's a way, it's probably harder to make it 
fall off than to make it not fall off. But at least the rear luggage, we still have some luggage in the back. I think that might be secure. NSR, North Sea Rail. Okay. So, this thing is actually pretty capable. I wonder how long like it took to build it. Really, really capable. Like all the all my other vehicles have not been able to do that much off-roading that this thing has. Also, it looks like it has lots of rope, so if it gets stuck, something else can come along. Maybe another one of these can come along and pull it. Hey, look, there's a road. I haven't seen there's a road in Stormworks. I thought there were only train tracks. I don't know. This thing is more built for off-roading than on-roading. Going on the road, so yeah, but yeah. So this is like the airport that I'm on, and I'm heading over to the train station a area, and like I guess the bigger area. So this thing might fall off the road because those road barriers are not that big for like a bridge, and if this falls off. We're screwed unless it falls onto one of those icebergs over there. Because this does not float. It's really heavy. It's not built for floating. It's built for exploring the snow. I guess kind of stalled out for a second. How much? Are we out of fuel now? We have lots of fuel. The temperature. Oh, is that like the temperature outside? I guess. Engine temperature is good. And everything else is looking good. What's this warning light? Oh, that's for the parking brake. It seems like a hinge there. Does that roof open or something? Oh, that could be for like tilting the antennas back. I think. But it would be weird if that roof opened. I do think the engine. Yeah, I think that that key right there is for the engine. This is a little bit slow. I kind of really want to jump onto that iceberg over there. Okay, I see like an iceberg that's moving between the bridge. I kind of want to watch that. It looks cool. It's actually not that loud. The heater is on, which is keeping me nice and warm in here. One thing I would, I guess, realize that there is no. Right now, I can't see that. It looks like there is no Arctic clothing. Wait a second. Wait, is there? Oh no, there's Arctic. There's thermal clothing. Okay, I'm gonna put that on. Guess so when I step outside, I don't get too cold. It's like a red giant jacket there. That's like serious Arctic gear. Alright, now the road. Come on, we've come across a fork in the road. Which way should we take? I'm gonna use the free map. Oh, wait, no, I guess remembered. We're not using the roads, we're off roading. So I'm just gonna go right. Oh, is it gonna be able to make that? Oh no, there we go. Yeah, we're not using the roads. This is more built for this kind of stuff than going on a road. We just used the road to cross the bridge. Now we're gonna take the off-roading area. So then I'm gonna set up like a perfect camping spot or whatever. And I'm gonna like explore. There are penguins in Stormworks. I don't know where they are though. They might be like further out to sea. And I do see... And I do see some buildings over there. But it's across another bridge and... Crossing the bridge is boring because it's just so slow. Alright, let's see how well it goes down this mountain hill. Actually, is this, this thing is running really well after being flipped over. Oh, back there. I guess, hope nothing in that lo in those luggages we need right now. We do have a map and a radio. So we should be fine. Okay, that map is actually really detailed. There's that bridge that I crossed. And there's me. Oh. 
I should really be paying attention to that road. That cliff I guess ends right there. Alright, I'm gonna have to maybe get onto further mainland, which means crossing another bridge, which I'm not looking forward to. But if I want to get to more interesting off-roading areas, that should be over there. So we should do that. Here, can I make it up the side of this bridge area? I want to do it kind of slow. So if it can't, I don't want to like break anything on it. Okay, it looks. It doesn't look like it can. Let's try reversing. It's kind of like a reverse beeping noise, which is nice, but there's more of a thing that semi-trucks have, and this is not for... This is not for the road. It's not like you're gonna need to let know, like, that the traffic know that you're reversing. Alright, here let's try. Okay, it looks like I can't get on over there. I have to find a way that I can get onto this bridge. There's the area that I think I tried before. Okay, I think... No, that's not gonna work either. Am I seriously gonna have to go all the way back to where I came from? I'm just gonna try this. Oh, that's not gonna work. It might have worked maybe if it didn't have like that front bumper and all that, but I think that's kind of needed because there's a winch up there. I should try maybe a tug of war because they both have winches or something, but I would need to accelerate on both of them at the same time, which I cannot do right now. I can't even tell the AI to do that. Alright, this is not going to work either. Let's try to get on. I'm gonna try this spot, but this spot looks really promising. This is a very bad position that I am in right now. So I'm like rubbing against that road. Alright, so over here is where I left off. But I don't think I'm going to be able to get back on. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to get back on. Except for maybe right here. It's kind of getting on. It's kind of doing it. I, mean, I don't think it is. Maybe I can get to the other side and try it. So let's go over there. Okay, this is dangerous. Uh oh, uh oh, I almost fell. I'm gonna see if I can try to maybe jump to the bridge. No, that's not gonna work. Yeah, that's what first. Get back. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get back on. So to end, I was gonna basically end this episode. So what I'm gonna do to finish it off. It Wait, that's a Japanese flag, I think. So I think this is Japanese. So to end this, I'm gonna do this. I guess literally drowned. Oh, it still runs. Do I have diving equipment? If I could, I would. I could. I could try to go in there and like recover it. But I don't think that's gonna happen. Bye. Antarctic Explorer thing. 
Alright, so that's gonna wrap it up for this episode. Don't forget to subscribe and click that like button. And I'll see you next time.